Finally, I've discovered how to put up infinity negates. I've dreamed of the day I can put up infinity negates with pendulums. Well, guess what? That day's here, baby! Let's go! That's right, infinity and the gates of pendulums, the beautiful day has finally come. So if you're ready for this video, smash the subscribe button, check out the beautiful TripGaming.com playing mats down in the description below, sign up for the Trip Gaming membership, and let's get started on infinity negate pendulums. It's been a long time. Let's go, baby. Infinity negates, baby. Let's go. I'm hyped for this one. I've always wanted to put infinity negates. Like, this is a, a thing of mine that I've always wanted, I dreamed of to do. And finally, with the new cards that came out in the new set, Duov, we are able to do this easily. Very easily. We're going to show you guys two combo tutorials, quickly how to do it with different hands. And then after that, we're going to show the deck profile. So stay tuned to the very end and don't miss out on the video. Let's go. So, over here, a lot of you guys will do the stupid move of pen calling the Dark Worm, but don't do that. Obviously, you can start playing Magicians here. We're going to utilize Needle Fiber to do this combo for infinity, truly infinity negates. But we're going to pen call a pen call here. Do not pen call the Dark Worm. That would be very stupid. Very, very, very stupid. Because then the extra pen call will be dead for you. Obviously, we're going to utilize the Dark Worm in other ways. Uh, so, we want to do this infinity negate combo through all... We want to make sure we're safe through Nibiru and the other hand traps as well. So what we're going to do here, you're going to show us two different options here. So what we're going to do is you're going to have an option here. You could uh, use Abductor here to search Chronograph, activate the Chronograph. I'm not doing this, I'm showing you guys the options here. Uh, link it to something, uh, do some more other plays, maybe Normal Summon, go for Crowley. But the thing is this, if you're not playing Normal Pendulums, the better place to get Jackal. Why is the better place to get Jackal? Because if you, the other play was Chronograph, Normal Summon, like a, a Black Fang or something, go into Crowley, draw two cards, but you don't need all that cards. You already have what you need So what to do the combo. To do the combo, it's very easy. You don't need that good of a hand. I'm going to show you what you need. Uh, so over here, you, all you need to do is a typical, look, like, this is a typical. Let's say Harmonizing, Summon two cards here to the Link over there and a Jackal, just to stop, stop the Nibiru. This is all you need. So we could we could have set this up. But if we want to do a better play if you're not playing Infinity Negate Pendulums, like the better play for playing Normal Pendulums would have been, some lessons for you guys, uh, would have been to go for Crowley instead. But we don't need all that draw cards because uh, we're under Into the Void. So what are we going to do with all the draw power if the card is going to stay in our hand anyways? So we did the minimal amount possible to ensure we can play around Nibiru by getting the Jackal. So our next line of play is... Uh, the Infinity Negate combo is not fully complete unless you have Utopia or a way to stop the attack. So what it does, for those who don't know, you get Apex Avion and you, you get Apex Avion is able to negate every single turn. But there's a 1200 attack monster that you can attack over. But with Utopia, they cannot attack over it. So now you truly have Infinity Negates no matter what. It's big brain play there, but it ensures you're playing through everything. They can't Nibiru you. They can't do anything. Even if they Ash my pen call or Ash my draw, it doesn't matter. Like, it's so easy to do this combo that even if they were to have a bunch of hand traps, it's so easy to do. You see, like, three, four. As long as Harmonizing gets summoned to the field, you could, you could do the combo very easily. So over here, we're going to do... I was thinking here, what would be the best way to do this? I could possibly keep the Masquerina for a bit. So I'm going to go to Needle Fiber over here. And I'm going to be I usually use the Needle Fiber to bring out the Steam the Cloak. Uh, and that's the way to do the combo. Steam the Cloak and Needle Fiber, then go into the Simorg Link. Uh, the Simorg Link is how it does this combo, makes it possible. Steam the Cloak effect will trigger by leaving the field. It would summon a token. And then all you need to do now is make Union Carrier. So we're going to use Steam the Cloak's effect, uh, effect in the grave. Uh, Needle Fiber says they cannot use the effect on the field, but it gets its effect when it leaves the field. So you, that way you can still use its grave effects. So, so when Team the Cloak will go to the grave, get the token, tribute the token, special itself. Now you have two darks. With the two darks, you go to Union Carrier. Union Carrier now targets Simorg to bring out Mist Valley Thunderbird. And then on the end phase, there's seven unused monster spell trap zones. So you can sub special summon an Apex Avion from your deck. Broken, just like that. And now you're gonna have Apex Avion and this. When your opponent activates a card, when your opponent activates a card into the Void of okay, this card. You need to make sure you free up the slot, and this is how it's done. You have a free Jack on the gate just there to stop the Nibiru. Uh, the cards in hand doesn't matter, because on your turn, you're just going to attack and win. 
Uh, it just auto win just like that. Uh, now, uh, also super cool is uh, they can't attack. You could. I also side into Utopia Lightning. I don't main deck it, but you could side into Lightning if you want as well because you are tr you you really going for the Utopia. This combo, if you really want to, could even activate the Lightning first, search the double or nothing, and then Utopia to OTK the following turn if you want. But it is I'd opt not to play it. But it's protected through everything. Now, when they activate a card, negate with Apex Avion to bounce Thunderbird to the hand. Thunderbird effect will trigger to special summon itself. And then whenever they activate something else, uh, negate it again. Bounce the Thunderbird back to your hand, special summon it back to the field. If they want to attack into the Thunderbird, Utopia negates the, negates the attack. So they cannot stop that. If they want to Ghost Ogre the Apex Avion, Jackal negate. So it completely stops everything and it's absolutely amazing. So yeah, we're going to do another one now, but this one's going to be super fast. Way faster. We're not going to explain anything. We're just going to let it go as it goes. So you guys are going to fast forward this. So you guys can actually learn uh, without me commentating. So you guys can look for it for yourselves. But it's absolutely broken what it does. If you hard draw, by the way, you're going to notice after drawing, we're going to hard draw Steam the Cloak. It doesn't matter because Needle Fiber's effect says you can special from hand or deck. Or if you, you can also Pendulum Summon it if you just hard draw it, which is also totally fine. But you need Steam the Cloak as the winged beast to make the Symborg link. If you hard draw Apex Avion, you don't need the Simorg link. You just pencil up some of the Apex Avion. So it's even easier. As uh, you see there, we hard drew it, but it doesn't matter. Needle Fiber can just special summon it from the hand. So it doesn't make any difference. Here, the hand was just a lot better. Uh, so we're going to have like a bunch of cards in hand here. Uh, it's so good. This is so broken. You just have to make sure you have the one free slot. We have Needle Fiber as well if we want. And just keep summoning itself back. We have Needle Fiber effect if we really want to, to use it for something. But I, I don't play anything for Needle Fiber because like, you already auto win at that point. But, like, you're set up so well. Uh, it's crazy how well you're set up here. You could have protected yourself from the Nibiru as well because we had the Jackal. But I opted, like, just to show you guys different routes. You can do different stuff, obviously. And this is the deck profile, guys. It's absolutely amazing. I highly recommend if you guys like this deck, try out for yourselves. I personally prefer Pure Endymion because it's more consistent. But this is still very, very, very good. Uh, it seems like these are bricks, but they just make your combo easier. I don't like it going second, but going first is broken. I'm pretty sure this is actually the best way to play it going first. But going second, you're going to have to side out a lot of the stuff. And a lot of the stuff you can't super poly because they're not darks, which is also super cool. So super poly is kind of useless against this board. Uh, so it's also really good. Unless you have some random card to super poly all the links with. But uh, if they just start reventing, you're good. Uh, so the deck, Servant, Triple Abductor, uh, all four of them. You, you saw the other hand. The, hand, the, f the, first hand, the second hand was broken. The first hand was not that good. We still did the combo. Uh, because Abductor is just that good, lets you do anything. Servant Triple Abductor, and also you do cool stuff with Abductor. Uh, Abductor is also the reason why we're playing Dark Worm, because if you use a lot of spells and you have Dark Worm, Pen Call, but no Dark Worm, you use Abductor to search the Dark Worm and Pen Call the Dark Worm. One Mighty Master, one Jack, that's all you need. Triple Chrono, one Time Geezer, one Poison, one Fang, one Celestial Magician, one Harmonizing. You don't need too big of a count, you have five Magicians, there's no Desires in this deck, because you don't want to banish these three combo pieces. So, because there's no desires in this version of the deck, you don't need to play too much Magicians. Uh, this is good. You, they're not that good. You don't want to play too much. Two Dark Worm, one Zero, one Avion, one Thunderbird, one Steam the Cloak, one Magician Souls. Sometimes the best place to normal summon the Abductor, especially if you drop multiple Foolishes, Shrines, multiple Pen Calls, multiple Masteries, stuff like that. So sometimes it's good to normal summon the Abductor to search the Souls. So you want the options. We just have one Souls in this version. One Blue Boy, double Secrets, one Knowledge. Uh, three allure, one into the void, one, one upstart. Uh, one thing to note, uh, you guys know I love playing multiple blue boys, but if you have dark room in the deck, it, it sometimes you have to save your normal summon because you have to hard draw the dark room and normal summon it sometimes. So I don't like dark room to be honest, but uh, that's why one blue boy is fine in this version with dark room. One foolish double shrine, three mastery, two pen call, two alliance. Uh, side deck three evenly, one reboot, three lightning sword, three mine, one terraforming, one village. Uh, two Dark Rulers and one Double or Nothing. Because you're already playing a Utopia card, you might as well throw in another Utopia package to be able to uh, do, go second. Because going second, you side out Apex Avion. You side out Thunderbird. You side out Steam the Cloak going second. You can keep Steam the Cloak for Needle Farmer plays if you want. But the Apex Avion combo is not gonna... It's gonna be very difficult to resolve going second. So you want something else that's already part of the deck, which is Utopia, to be like a win condition. So going first, your win condition is Apex Avion. Combo, infinite negate combo, going second. Your opponent just doesn't see a double or nothing coming, and you just go double or nothing their ass. Uh, missing mine and double or nothing is a great combo. This is a fantastic combo here, because you're going to have five monsters, and then boom, you're good. Uh, extra deck, super new, a lot of new cards in here. Needle Fiber, Union Carrier, so broken. Crowley, amazing. IP, amazing. All right, Celine, obviously amazing. Simward, 
In this version, you only need one sling. You don't go into it too much. One Phoenix, one Unicorn, one Boral Sword, one Appaloosa, one Dweller, one Utopia Double, Utopia for the package, one Absolute, one Vortex. That's the deck, guys. I think the deck's absolutely amazing. I love the deck, but I would still choose Pure Endymion over it. For those that missed my profile I did yesterday, this is my Endymion deck. I'm going to show you guys quick how it is. Uh, been playing it a lot. It's so good. I prefer the Pure Endymion list. The Avion list is also good, and as you guys see, all the Pendulum decks I'm working on over here, you guys can see them all. You guys are about to get some amazing, amazing content on this channel of all Pendulums. So don't forget to subscribe, guys. Don't forget to smash the subscri subscribe button, the like button, and consider signing up on the Trip Gaming membership down below, and check out TripGaming.com for the most amazing maps you'll ever see. With that being said, Trip signing out, baby! See you guys in the next video, peace!